On Monday, Sophia asked Teresa Golden to look after Fufu. That evening, she felt better, and a nurse came in to give Teresa and Ellen a rest. In the early hours of the morning, Sophia woke. Teresa and Ellen were wakened from sleep, and they roused Fufu that the child might see her mother alive one more time. Sophia could speak just a little. Teresa thought she heard her say, too much happiness. She died around four o'clock. The autopsy would show her lungs completely ravaged by pneumonia and her heart displaying trouble that went back several years. Her brain, as everybody expected, was large. The doctor from Bornholm read of her death in the newspaper without surprise. He had occasional presentiments disturbing to one in his profession and not necessarily reliable. He had thought that avoiding Copenhagen might preserve her. He wondered if she had taken the drug he had given her and if it had brought her solace as it did when necessary to him. Sophia Kowalewski was buried in what was then called the New Cemetery in Stockholm at three o'clock in the afternoon of a still cold day when the breath of mourners and onlookers hung in clouds on the, frost, on the frosty air. A wreath of laurel came from Weierstrass. He had said to his sisters that he knew he would never see her again. He lived for six more years. Maxime came from Beaulieu, summoned by Mittag Leffler's telegram before her death. He arrived in time to speak at the funeral in French, referring to Sophia rather as if she had been a professor of his acquaintance and thanking the Swedish nation on behalf of the Russian nation for giving her a chance to earn her living, to use her knowledge in a worthy manner, he said, as a math mathematician. Maxime did not marry. He was allowed after some time to return to his homeland to lecture in Petersburg. He founded the Party for Democratic Reform in Russia, taking a, chance, uh, taking a stand for constitutional monarch monarchy. The Tsarists found him much too liberal. Lenin, however, denounced him as a reactionary. Fufu practiced medicine in the Soviet Union, dying there in the mid-1950s of the 20th century. She had no interest in mathematics, so she said. Sophia's name has been given to a crater on the moon. 